G'day Andy here from Aussie Homesteads, just an update on that last video, I'm um, mucking around with this, I chopped the bottom off a of Fisher and Pikeville washing machine, motor and basically got a Fisher and Pikeville sitting there actually, um, running it through a test this one, but yeah, every Fisher and Pikeville washing machine, that's a 10 kilo, uh, repair for a customer that one, every one of those has this wash bowl, of course this was full size, but I chopped the bottom off it because I'm only interested in this bottom section. So that's where the agitator would normally be, and this is where the stator would be, and the magnetic part, that's the magnetic part there that goes round and round and round, round. The stator stays still, it's fixed to the bottom, so it's fixed to these four screws here. So that stator stays still, the magnets go round and round and round. As I explained before, you've got north, south, north, south, north, south, north, south, and that excites these coils, creates electricity to these three points here. Now, you can put voltage into it and it's a motor. You turn the motor and you get voltage out. You get a generator. So we're converting it from a motor to a generator. So all we're doing is breaking it up into groups that I think is adequate. In this, in this case, I've done 12s. Next one we'll do sixes, a group of six, then we'll do a group of three, and we'll play around with different size wires to try and get the maximum efficiency we can out of this wind generator. But as I've just seen in that last video, you'll notice that we've got pretty good voltage even at low speed. So when you take these three phases here, it will come out as three phase, AC. We'll put it through a bridge rectifier. So the three back ones are one, two, three phases. That bridge rectifier then will convert it to two outlets, positive and negative, 12 volts. So we'll end up with only two wires and we'll now end up with DC current, not AC. Not alternating current, direct current. And that's what we want. We want to be able to charge batteries utilizing this thing spinning around with the wind generator driving it on the end here. Just a sort of, I'm gonna do it out of a bicycle wheel with some veins on it and see how that goes. Because it only needs to turn slowly. As you saw in that last video, we were getting between 12 and 20 volts. So the next question we're gonna answer is, what sort of amperage are we getting? But that'll be for another video. I just thought I'd give you an update on how I broke this, took this motor and converted it into this generator by grouping these together. So more updates soon. See you later. Bye.